Welcome to Learning Point. Today we are going to learn about custom theme in Android. So first of all, you need to have some material colors. So I'm here on material.io slash design. It's a website from Google where you can grab nice colors. Here is a list of very nice colors. So I'm gonna be using some of them. So let's get into the Android Studio. First of all, I've created a sample project. So in order to create custom theme, you need to go to Java Resources, Values and Styles. Here, here a theme is already defined. That is created by Android for you. But if you want to create a newer one uh, for some reason, then how to create that? Less. First of all, I need to let you know some of the novelties. Uh, the thing right there, where the battery is shown and the notification bar, this which we bring it down, it is called status bar. This line right here. This is called status bar, and the let me open some app and show you something. Uh, and the thing right there, this area over which clean master is written is called uh, action bar. So these are the main things which needs to be customized when you are creating the theme. Right here you can see uh, the area on which it is written, this area is called action bar and the area above it it is called status bar. So how to change these colors and how to create a custom theme. Let's design, let's make a new tag style. Let's pose custom theme. And next you need to define parent. What is parent? Parent is actually uh, the theme it is gonna uh, be extending from. Like it is inheriting the properties of its parent theme. So you need, you must have to, uh, you must have to give it a parent theme. So if you want the action bar which I have shown here, if you want the action bar in your theme. Then you need to select one of them uh, which shows uh, there. You can choose dark action bar or light action bar or something like that if you want action bar. If you don't want action bar then you can choose no action bar theme. So in current case I am going to go with dark action bar. So next up. Next, you need to define three colors. First color, color primary. Where it is gonna be used? This is the actually the color of your action bar on which this area. This is the color of this area. So I am going to add new, some new colors. In order to add some new colors, you need to go to colors.xml and define the colors here. So first of all going to add color custom primary let's see and uh, give it some hex code so I'm going to right so this dark one no 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 this one I'm going to go with this color primary control D for duplicate and color primary dark. So this uh, for dark, I'm going to go with this one. Place it right here. And the third color is called color tint. Or uh, the other name of it, it, it is color accent. Where it is used, I'll show you in a moment. So I'm gonna go with this one. The color extent. 
customer x right so now go to styles and name it color primary and uh, its value will be at the red color slash custom custom primary I'm gonna copy these two lines. So here I'm going to go with custom primary dot and here custom accent. This should be something here. See what it is. So your theme is almost set up. So which is custom? What is custom color? Custom primary. Custom primary is for action bar. Custom primary dark is for status bar. And uh, custom accent. Custom accent is for uh, the colors of uh, uh, is for the color like, like if we use uh, progress bar something like that uh, that's color will be the uh, color accent so let's see let's apply this theme how to apply this theme theme name is custom theme so let's copy this and go to your manifest file android manifest and here um, there you need to give that name no, it is referring to that uh, theme. It's under style and its name is custom theme. So let's go to the activity mail and uh, this should change actually. Maybe it is not updated, so I'm gonna run it on emulator and let's see what it does. I have the emulator started, so let's see what it does. Take into my time. In the meanwhile, I'm going to tell you something more. Let's suppose you want to change this text color. It's dark, dark right here. So you need to add here another line, like item name text color. Text color. Text color primary action. So this will change the text color. So if you want anything from this scene, you can specify right there, like text appear appearance. This means uh, that if you want the text bold, then uh, you can uh, give it bold and something like that. So you can change. All of your theme right there. Uh, right now, my theme is giving some error. This is because uh, of a library I'm using right there in my old app, and here it is the error. So that's why that's showing the error. Hmm. This is not. This is saying that uh, this port should not use a different version than compiler. So let's see what it does. Sticking to my time. 